Anyway, so I want to uh, touch on the question that you had asked, which is what media figures are goading us into a potential shooting war, which would be a uh, catastrophe. Yes, a catastrophe is right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you name names. I don't know that I'll agree or disagree, but you're going to name them. Who's doing this? All right. Well, first of all, I want to say that uh, much like you, I believe that the quickest and most effective way to, ta to tear a nation apart is to pin the police against the citizens and the citizens against the police. And I feel that uh, we have several provocateurs doing this. And to go back into the, uh, the analysis of the wolf in sheep's clothing, I believe we have many patriots in patriot clothing, which are to be uh, feared even more than the murderous government. Well, hold on. You think the patriot movement itself could provoke the civil war? I believe it's certainly possible. When you look at the uh, the murderous government, of course, they wear their colors at the gate. They uh, wave their flag openly. But one of their most effective weapons would be to infiltrate a movement that uh, sets up a sort of uh, opposition ideologically to... Uh, All right, so, you, so they're doing a, 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 counter, a counter movement. I get it. They're, in other words, they're Jean provocateurs within the patriot movement trying to trigger some kind of inflammatory uh, uh, event. So this, this uh, issue of the Jean provocateur, you think they've penetrated, what, the Tea Party movement to try to provoke some kind of reaction from the government? I would hope not so much the Tea Party movement. I believe the Tea Party... Um, as a whole, generally speaking, is... Uh... Absolutely. I've never seen any violence. They don't even leave a gum wrapper on the floor. So I would, uh, of all the groups in America, they're probably the most benign and the least provocative. Exactly. I agree completely. Uh, you know, when I've seen or, uh, you know, associated with other Tea Party, uh, you know, members of the Tea Party... They... So where is this talk of go to war, get your guns, get your ammo, get the bulletproof vest, get the drum magazine? Who's provoking this? Who is doing this? Uh, in my personal estimation, Alex Jones, for as much good as he's done as far as um, spreading information, accurate information, to a certain extent, yes, he does transmit facts. Uh, yes, he, he does give out good information, but at the same time, there are certain things that the man does that really lead me to question his motives and his agenda. Well, rather than going into it, because I think Alex is a good man who does the right thing, but if he's gone overboard, I can't speak to that. He'd have to speak to that. The fact is that the dogs of hate have been tearing at people of faith uh, since the Cultural Revolution of the 1960s. The fact of the matter is the dogs of hate on the left have torn apart our courts and schools, the military, the police. And they have snarled at us sufficient to provoke some people into an early reaction. I would like them to understand that they should back down at this time and not call themselves cowards for doing so. There are revolutionaries, there are counter-revolutionaries, and then there are anti-revolutionaries. I consider myself, Michael Savage, an anti-revolutionary. We do not want to burn the nation to the ground in order to save it. Mark, and I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, that's a very good question, by the way.